Hello, you wonderful people. In this video, we're going to take a look how you can structure your data for your website. In this case, we're taking a look at our Next.js application. And here you could see a very basic landing page with our hero section, our heading section, and our cart section. This data is stored inside a strappy headless CMS that your admin user could update dynamically. So if we take a look at this representation here in our Strapi application, under our content manager, we have our homepage data, which has our hero section, our heading section, and our card carousel. If I wanted to easily add another card, I could say, this is my card. I just did this. And in my current project, I'm just using the heading and the subheading for the particular card and an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. Let's go ahead, click publish. And if we take a look back in our application and I scroll, notice we have our new card that we added. And any of this could be changed in your Strapi admin, which is amazing because it gives your content editors ability to easily manage your content. For instance, they could add another heading. So I'm going to say heading. This is a new heading, subheading, hello. And let's click publish. So now if we refresh our Next.js application, we're going to see that we have our new heading here. And what's cool, you could actually move things around. So maybe we want our heading our first heading to be on the top here. I click publish. If I go to my application and refresh, notice that our content has been updated and changed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you in Strapi how I set this up, including what it looks like in code. And as always, this project is available on my repo that I'm gonna show you how you could set it up locally if you wanna play with that. And if you want to take a look at what an in-depth project looks like in Strapi, you could actually jump in at strapi.io, either start with your own project or check out our demo where you're able to add your information and you'll be able to get your Strapi Power demo, which is using Strapi 5 and Next.js to kind of see what cool things you could build. So let's take a look how I accomplished this. Taking a look at our application, we noticed that our landing page consists of three items, our hero section, our heading, and our cart section here. But I also, in my Strapi instance, created similar components to represent that same data, hero, heading, and cart carousel. And that's exactly what we saw here when we took a look at our collection type for our homepage. We have our homepage collection type that we're able to retrieve via our API endpoint. And here we have our items. And as we looked before, at any time, you could add any additional sections based on the components that you have. And of course, you could add more components. And the magic of this is we're able to get these sections back in our API response and in our Next.js application, we're able to iterate through the data and dynamically show the content. So let's take a look in code. Here in my front-end application, if we navigate to our client project source, take a look at our app router, our pages, we're going to see this basic implementation. We have our loader, which gets our data from Strapi. I have this placeholder because you can not expose your API public and could require an auth token, which is something we will do in future videos. But once I get my data, I return it out of our loader in our React server components, and I'm able to take that data and use it here in my page. And here I have a block renderer component, which will take the blocks. And if we take a look at the block renderer component here, you could see that it consists of our blocks that correlate to our strappy blocks. We have our hero component, which correlates to our hero section. We have our card carousel, which correlates to our strappy's card carousel component that we did, and our heading. And what this block renderer does, once it gets the response, it iterates to the response, and based on the type of block that we have in our response, it is going to go ahead and render the appropriate block. So back in our collection here, notice that we have our hero section, when we get our response, we check our blocks. Hey, if there's a hero section component, which there is, go ahead and render the hero Next.js component. And this is what we see here. And this is what allows you to create dynamic websites where you as a developer don't have to manage the content, but instead rely on a headless CMS like Strapi, where you're able to represent your data here in blocks of components that 
have a one-to-one -one relationship to your actual Next.js component, like this hero section, this heading, and the cards component. And that's exactly what we see here in code. And if you're wondering how I build these components, I'm a big fan of using VWAP. It's a page builder that allows you to export your code to Next.js or just to use in your project. And I use their three sections here, which is our hero, this heading and card component, which made my life much easier. And before we take a look how you can set up this project locally and try it out or use it as a starting point, I want to tell you why I love this approach. For someone who loves building things fast, especially if someone who's interested in freelancing like I am, I don't want to be bogged down building things from scratch. So for me, my favorite thing to do is find technologies that you could stitch together to make this process easier. And so my workflow is literally using re rewrap using chat CN components to create landing pages quickly for my clients. Then I could tweak them if I need to using a headless CMS like Strapi to not have to create that backend myself that allows non-technical users to manage their content. And of course, relying on a framework like Next.js to be able to quickly build this. And that is pretty cool. So now let's take a look how you could check out this project. If you go to the repo at strappy blocks demo next js, that's a lot of dashes, but who cares? You can go ahead and either get clone and use this HTTP address, or I have the GitHub CLI command. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. In a new window, I'm going to go ahead and clone my repo. Once it is cloned, let's go and cd into our project. And if we take a look at the package.json, I do have some commands that you could run to make this process easier. So we're going to run yarn setup to set up both our Next.js and Strapi project. And then we're going to run seed to seed it with initial data. So let me clear my terminal. In the root of my project, I'm going to go ahead and run yarn setup, which will go ahead and install all the necessary dependencies. Once everything's all set, we could run yarn seed, another script that's going to seed your project with the dummy data. Once everything is complete, we could run clear again, and we could start both our front end and our back end by running yarn dev. This is going to go ahead and start our project. Once everything gets started, we'll be able to navigate to localhost 1337 for our Strapi project. Here you could create your first admin user and make sure to use a super secure password like monkey1234 because nobody would ever guess that because why would they? Once you log in, you will be able to see all of our content for our homepage. And now you have a Strapi application for you to play around with. And if you go to localhost 3000, you should see your landing page being rendered here in all of its glory. And because you now have the code base, you could take a look at the project, you could try it out. And more importantly, if you need some help or have questions, we at Strapi have open office hours. I participate Monday through Friday in the afternoon session. So if you want to chat with me, say hello, or complain about the things that I'm doing, whatever you want to do, you could check us out at 12.30 p.m. CST time. But with that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you haven't tried out Strapi, give it a try. It's my favorite way to build applications for clients. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.